Good morning, everyone. It's October 18th, and I'm here in our church at our new baptismal font to speak with all of you. As I shared at the Masses that I celebrated this weekend, it's just been so wonderful that we've had so many weddings recently at our parish and so many baptisms. It's uh, just incredible, and it's just a, in a great, great moment in our parish. And as I said at the 7.30 Mass and the 12 o'clock Mass on Sunday, it's always nicer when you have so many more weddings and you have funerals, uh, just such a happier moment and time. But there are two things I wanted to do with you this, uh, this week in this video announcement. And the first one has to do with something you've probably heard in the news already. Pope Francis has called for another synod. Um, a synod literally comes with the Greek word meaning walking together or on the same road. And every few years, as a global church, we have these synods, and it takes a different topic. One time it was about family life, another time it was about preaching, another time it was about priestly formation, kind of taking big topics within our church. But Pope Francis wants to have this synod, which is coming up and just actually started, it's gonna be a two year preparation process, and it will culminate in 2023. He wants it to be a synod on synodality. So basically a reflection of all of us of how we're walking together trying to follow the lead of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So Cardinal Tobin has written a letter that we're going to post on our website. You can see the letter in its entirety. It's just two pages here. But I just wanted to read uh, from the end because it's going to be something where every parish, every person who belongs to our Archdiocese will have the opportunity to make our voices heard. And he explains how, as a result of the Archdiocesan consultation, a report will be written that will collect all of our voices. But he said, but the most important thing will not be answering a questionnaire or attending a meeting, but living synodality, that is experiencing the church as walking with others. So this is gonna be something you're gonna hear more about over the next two years. When the opportunity comes for us to participate, I'll definitely let you know. But what I wanted to share with you for this coming weekend, which is something really dear to my heart, and I hope that all of you will be able to participate in this. As we've been announcing, we're going to have a ministry fair. So after all of the masses this coming weekend, the 23rd and 24th, except, except for the 615 mass, but all the other five masses, as soon as mass is over, we're gonna invite all of you to go into the gym. There's gonna be coffee and cake and snacks and things like that. But but all uh, around the gym, there'll be tables and banners representing our 63 different ministries. Now, not all 63 ministries need more volunteers at this time, so not all of them will be represented there. But um, I think there's gonna be about 30 or 40 all together that will be there. And we just ask you to prayerfully consider, if you're not already volunteering in the parish, is there one of these ministries where you would like to participate? And it just brings me back, as you know, I lived in Ireland for four years. I had that wonderful expression, many hands make light work. And now that the pandemic seems to be really subsiding now, and we're gathering again, we're relaunching all of our ministries, we could use as many helping hands as we get. So I look forward to seeing you at Mass this weekend, and then right after after Mass, as I said, to come to the gym and find out about all these wonderful opportunities where we can live this synodality that Pope Francis and Cardinal Tobin are talking about, all of us walking together towards our home in heaven, towards God, but walking here while we're here on earth, following the lead of the Holy Spirit, trying to build up the kingdom of Christ. So thank you. See you soon. Bye.